if that's all right. And let's talk about some other news that's going around in the NBA right now. And that news is, drum rolls, please. Pistons have narrowed down between Kevin Arley and Charles Lee, allegedly, as their head coaching. There is a rumor outside that our man... Monty Williams, he did, as you guys know, declined. They are so they originally were going to offer him the job if they had won the first pick. They didn't, but they still offered him jo- the job after winning the the fifth pick. And he supposedly told them, "No, I'm not coming." Like he, he like straight up told them, "I'm good. I'm good. I got 20 million over the next three years that the Suns are paying me. I'm good." So they came back, and two weeks ago, I made a video saying that Jerron Collins. Kevin Ollie and Charles Lee were the finalists with Kevin Ollie allegedly being the front runner. And then it went dead silent the day that Monty Williams got, got fired. Then about a few days ago, we started to hear some Pistons news turned out. They spent the two weeks trying to convince Monty Williams to be their head coach. Now it, uh, Jerron Collins has dropped out of the head coach job. It is now between Kevin Ollie and Charles Lee with the Pistons hoping that Monty Williams will reconsider the deal that they offered him because it's allegedly big money after he has not been considered for any of the top coaching jobs. But we're going to operate under the assumption that it's either Charles Lee, former Milwaukee Bucks assistant, who replaced Darvin Ham as the lead assistant and was credited for the offensive side of the ball for the last several years, but he has worked on some of the defensive side. Then Kevin Ollie, who won a national championship with UConn in 2014. Some people say it was with Jim Calhoun's recruits. He coached the last few seasons with overtime elite. Jackson, Nick, if you were the Pistons or if you are you were a Pistons fan, who would you rather have be coached? An NBA assistant coach who's considered one of the top 40 under 40 coaches, one of the best coaches under the age of 40, or would you rather get Kevin Ollie, who's been – Credited as mentoring LeBron James and Kevin and Kevin Durant at when he was a pro as he played for the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Thunder in the 2000s and won a championship with UConn, but has never coached in the NBA. Who would you guys take? Either, man. Just take somebody. We've been talking about the same stuff every day for a month now. Like the drafts in less than a month. You need a head coach. Hire either one. It says a lot that Ime Udoka went right away to the Rockets. Getting that fifth pick did not help Detroit, but they'll be fine. Same thing with Monty Williams. Supposedly Monty Williams got offered big money and it wasn't enough to like entice him to be like I don't, I don't want him to coach the Pistons, anyways. I'm glad that they I like I like Ali and Lee. I think who would you choose, Ollie or Lee, if you had I'd literally either. I would you know? like literally either. I would go with Lee because it's not 2014. Um, Kevin Ali, like Kevin Ali is going to be the head coach of the Pistons. It makes way too much sense. And then he'll be fired in like two years once Cade's like actually good. I'm in agreement with you. What, I don't know about the firing part. I, I've, I've always been a huge Kevin Ollie fan. And I knew he got blackballed. But Troy Weaver uh, vouched for him to be hired when the – because the Thunder were either going to hire Kevin Ollie or Billy Donovan, and they chose Billy Donovan, but Troy Weaver was the assistant general manager, and he vouched for Kevin Ollie, while Sam Presti chose Billy Donovan. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that might be the answer, then. Or their answer. I'm shocked they haven't hired a coach yet. Well, dude, so... There did we talk about this allegedly? The reason why a lot of these teams are taking the time to choose a coach is with the new CBA uh, having that's is meant to break up teams and create parity. A lot of teams are taking their time in hiring a coach because they believe that their next coach needs to be able to extract as much from a roster as they possibly can because they will not be able to create these gathering of superstars anymore because financially they will not be able to do it because of the new collective bargaining agreement tax aprons and all those things so a lot of teams are taking their time and finding a coach that they know can make sure even if they you know can get the most out of any players that's why these teams are taking so long but i agree that i think this week we're going to see a bunch of hirings because you got to be you got to give a head coach at least two weeks to figure out his draft yeah i mean that's like that's what you look for in every coach. 
is what can they extract out of players and so it makes you a good coach so the cba add an element i guess but um, yeah man they i just remember like i thought the pistons would be the first team to hire somebody so did i not my rockets and that felt like uh, ages ago that was probably a whole month ago actually it makes sense i don't think monty williams wants to live in detroit especially after living in phoenix he was probably like i will take my 20 million and just pull this quince somebody in this out of these coaches is going to pull the quinn snyder like I, we always got to remember that that like somebody is going to pull that obviously is going to change the name next year we're going to probably call it like the monty williams it's where a coach says i'm good okay karam we're going to talk about the bucks hiring in a second but they're going to say i'm good okay I'm going to wait till next year's coaching cycle. I'm going to be the top candidate. Everyone's going to, you know, the I'm going to get the choice. I'm going to be able to choose what team I can go to. And I'm going to be able to maybe even get roster control. Because a lot of people don't realize that's what coaches want. They want roster control. Because a lot of coaches don't have a say on who that, like they kind of have a say, but they don't actually have final say on who is on their roster. And a lot of coaches want that. I don't want Monty Williams having control over my roster, so I'm glad. I don't want him in Detroit. I'm glad he doesn't want to be in Detroit. 